Nee hoor. Hallo, hallo, hallo. What's up, Barb? What's up, Marijke? Hallo, hallo, hallo. How you doing? Welcome, guys. Another live cooking show. Episode 78. While I prepare my camera here, guys, let's have a look at the menu. Live cooking episode 78. Oh, still doesn't work. Oh, there you go. It's a bit slow today. Chuck the chicken is just waking up. I'm doing good, guys. Thanks for asking. Happy Thursday to everybody. Today we'll be making kibbeling. That's just the Dutch way of saying fried fish. Uh, even though fried and fish are not in that word. Um, but yeah, that's how we call it. It's like uh, finger food. We're gonna make a cucumber salad along with that. And we're gonna bake some baby potatoes with garlic oil. Delicious. Doing good, Barb. Nice. Happy to hear that. Thanks for tuning in again. Uh, yesterday evening, Barb, I had your tap open. But I was playing games myself, so I didn't say anything. But I had your tap open from beginning to end. I still have to add new chicken arc, Barb. Um, that's because uh, today I was busy uh, painting. So I didn't have time for that. Let's see. Can we have the camera up and running, please? Hi. It's freezing. Every time I switch sheets, it kind of briefly freezes, I noticed. Yeah, sorry I didn't say anything. You know, I was uh, playing with Janusko, Huntelaar's husband. We were playing some games, but I had your tab open. I saw you uh, were busy with Destiny again, wrecking them aliens. Uh, were you painting the house or some miniatures? No, like the... Well, not this particular one. Uh, I don't know the English word for that. But like the heater, like that. Um, not this one, like upstairs I did them. Uh, they were like kind of creme white. But we decided to paint them, well, sort of metallic gray. Um, so I did that today. Um, took me a lot of time to get that off my hands too. But as you can see, they're all clean. I got clean hands today. Um, well, ik had gezegd, is er tegen Co, nadat we klaar waren, ik ga het eventjes een week niet meer spelen, minstens. En ik had ook gevraagd aan hem of hij mij daar aan wou houden. <laughs> maar inmiddels denk ik weer van, nou, ik heb wel zin vanavond. <laughs> dus even kijken of Janusko uh, uh, mij helpt daar aan te houden. Uh, oh shit, Barb is already on the chickens. Of course she is. She wants to have that number two spot. Almost. Uh, you need... Ooh, 15 more K, Barb. Almost there. You prefer my hands getting dirty? Or your hands? Well, it depends on what kind of dirtiness it is, you know? Like, this was like spray paint. And... It was almost smelled like uh, ammoniac. It was like really intense. Um was not so nice to use, but hey, at least they look very nice right now. Uh, don't switch. Either be a top or a bottom. You can switch it around, Barb. <laughs> Otherwise it gets boring if you do the same thing over and over again, you know? You gotta switch it up. All right, uh, ingredients, you can already see it on the right as always as always uh, but let's go through them so I'm gonna flip the camera still didn't make the second camera work again I, I need to invest time in that I um, will make it fixed because fractured he sent me the second camera but I gotta install something and I, like somehow Lightstream doesn't allow two cameras or maybe they do but I don't know how to do it so I have to invest some time in figuring that out so again, today we got one camera, so I'll be moving it around a little bit. But every time I do so, I'll warn you guys in case you got motion sickness. So, warning, I'm switching the camera. Here it goes, here it goes. So, 
ingredients. Ta -tum. Ta -tum -ta -ta -ta. Quite a lot, as you can see. Uh, one thing you don't see is the pollock, like like the fish. Um, codfish is actually preferably the thing you want to use here, but I thought it was just way too expensive to fry. So I got pollock, which is really cheap. Uh, it's not being shown here on the camera. I got it on the uh, on the right over here. Uh, sorry, this side. Um, it's like I, it was frozen, so I'm, I'm defrosting it right now. Uh, which program are you using? I'm using Lightstream because I stream straight from my Xbox part. So no OBS. Uh, I think there's another way of getting overlays and such when you're a console streamer, like without using capture card or whatever, you know. Um, I think there's another way, but there are only a couple of ways, like two or three ways to do it. I'm, I'm using the live stream version. Uh, so that's like, uh, it's not really a program. It's something you run in your web browser instead so that's why sometimes i have issues especially when the internet is being used heavily uh yeah exactly that complicates a lot um but if i want to do like with the with the capture card and through pc you know where you just capture your your footage on your xbox um you know, you got to have all this hardware and I don't have a decent laptop for that for first. So I need to get like a good PC, which costs a lot of money. Also, I have to get the capture card, which costs a lot of money. Basically, it costs a lot of money in general. And it's not that I don't want to invest in that, but it, you know, I need to. I always do my stuff as I grow along with the channel. Um, I do it step by step and Right now I'm with, I don't know how many, 340 something f followers or something. Um, yeah, I don't think it's still good enough to make such an investment, you know? So yeah, I'll probably get it eventually. If like, like I said, the channel and the streams grow along. Uh, so, you know, but it needs time, 341. Oh shit, I think I lost somebody then again. I thought it was 342 this morning. I don't know, who cares? It's not about numbers. Anyway, um, ingredients. As mentioned, the Pollock fish. I got some flour, like we're gonna make a batter from flour, milk and eggs. We're gonna season that with Cajun. That's like a spice mix. Uh, I got the baby potatoes over here. And we're gonna just simply bake those with garlic oil. And then we're gonna make a sauce to dip our fish in, which is basically a garlic sauce, but more like more sourness to it. So I got some, uh, some sour pickles over here. And to freshen things up, I got some lemon and some parsley. And of course we need there in here, the, the garlic and an onion we're gonna fine cut the onion and we're gonna make a sauce out of that and for the cucumber salad i got cucumbers as you can see and i need vinegar for that this is like a, a herb vinegar there are like herbs in there so like two for the price of one also gonna use a little bit of the parsley for the cucumber salad and it's basically classic marinade or dressing for the cucumber salad it's like vinegar black pepper and sugar so it's gonna be sweet sweet and sour at the same time and the sunflower oil there that's to fry the fish in so we're not using animal fat I never use that shit uh, so I always use sunflower oil to fry stuff in I basically make my own deep frying pan uh, let's see sorry 342 you are right typo oh shit so we didn't lose anybody Nice, good thing, good thing. Uh, Barb, yes, number two, baby. So you're uh, 1.1 million away from dubbing. You got a long road ahead of you and it's right now it's week 16, I believe. 
Let's see. Yeah, so last week was week 15. So currently on week 16, that means five more weeks left. So we're getting there. You don't have a lot of time to, to do so. Maybe, you know, if I'm like more faster with adding new chicken arcs, maybe in that way you can still gain that many chickens, but I don't know. It's a, it's like almost a double you got right now. Anyway, let's get started, guys. First, we're going to start off making the batter for the fish. So I'm going to put everything aside, which I don't need for that. Uh, I see I got one egg in the overlay, but I actually want to use two of those. And we don't need the whole egg, we just need the yolk. Egg yolk? Yeah, egg yolk. Yeah, you are really good. There are a couple of people here at the chicken farm that are really good with the chicken arc. Like you, Dubbing, Iron Neptune. You guys somehow always know how to find a way to unlock it. Uh, like last one with Amsterdam being the hidden word part. I was quite impressed by you. Because we only had one hint that it was founded in the 12th century. And it could have basically be so many different things. But at one point you did like Netherlands. Because you're, the way you think is like, okay, maybe it's a country. He's from the Netherlands. Maybe I should try that. Then you get the associated word. And you're like, okay, got to be Amsterdam. So I'm, I was pretty impressed the way you managed to unlock that. You're like a, an arc specialist, Barb. So I need some flour, 100 grams of regular flour. Hold on, let me have a sip of my, my coffee. <coughs> hundred grams of flour. So that's actually not enough. That's like 75, but the bag is empty. But good thing, I got another one. Drukke echtbeds? Nee, zeker niet. Look. Marijke. I got coffee beans. The real deal. These are like intense espresso beans. And I got like a machine where you don't put in the powder, but like the, the beans, you know, and it grinds the beans for you freshly. That's the best way to have your coffee, in my opinion. Uh, I am good in cracking locks, especially with virtual ones. <laughs> Let's see, a little bit more flour here. There you go. Voila. Très bien. Now, let's put that away. Put it through the sieve. I think that's such a weird word, sieve. All right. Allez. I'm gonna separate the egg white or the egg yolk from the egg white. No. All right. We can put that away. I need to add a pinch of salt to that. Let's mix that up real quick. I already preheated the oil on my left. That's right for you guys. So once I've done 
preparing those fish. I can start frying them. Now, I need some milk. I'm just going to add that step by step, so not the whole amount at once, just step by step. And I need 150 milliliters, which is basically something like this. And we're just going to add that to the flour and the egg little by little. Like add, mix. It's kind of like pancake batter, this one. Her name is Barb Unicorn, Chicken Arc Whisperer. back to the whole light stream story bar I must say when I first started using it like one and a half year ago mixer it was like non-stop giving me issues but ever since it got to twitch when mixer like shut down and they started working with uh, with Twitch, it's been pretty solid every now and then I got some issues but Usually everything is just by just refreshing the page on the web browser. So, you know, it's just a way for streamers who are just starting. Not that I just started. Or like streamers that are just started. Or like small time streamers. It's just a good way to start off with. I freaking love it. You got so many third party in integrations you can use. Like stream elements or Rainmaker. Basically, what I'm trying to say, you can still have all the fancy stuff like alerts and images being shown or sub counts, follow counts, bars, animations, videos. You can still have all that, even though you're not using Capture Card or OBS. It's just a good, good uh, program for the time being, you know? And then eventually, if you want to, you can always switch to a better, better platform or better service like OBS, Streamlabs. Uh, let's see, chat here. You use Lightstream before as well. Was that back in the Mixer days, or it weren't you? Weren't you never on on uh, on Mixer? I moved to OBS because my PC can move it and a game at the same time. Oh yeah, yeah, I reckon. A little mic crack, I believe. There, not sure. Little bit more and then we're good all right let's mix that final bit of milk up and before i continue with the fish i'm going to start making the cucumber salad real quick So I'm going to put away the batter for a second. Let's put that away. Uh, where's my kitchen paper? Oh, it 
it's always gone. Where did it go this time? Hello, kitchen paper. I had like a whole... I'm just gonna use the towel then. There you go. Pannenkoek klik heb je al ook? Hoi Bram. Pannenkoek. Uh, when I was in Mixer, I used only my Xbox without overlays or anything. Oh. I started off like that as well, Barb. But at, I think it was 150 follows or 200 follows or something, I started using the light stream. So, cucumber salad. I need another bowl. I'm going to add the vinegar to that. Hoi, ik lurk. Is goed, Bram. Dankjewel. Een kibbeling aan het maken. Kibbelingetje. Ik kwam een beetje door je Nuusko. We hadden het over kibbeling laatst. Toen dacht ik, oh, dat ga ik gewoon een keertje maken. Op street. Dat is leuk. Zo, ik heb de vinegar. And I'm gonna add some sugar to that. Sugar, why you get so fly? Oh, I'm afraid I don't have sugar anymore. What? Jamona not having sugar? What's this? <gasps> oh, Lord. Are you kidding me? Oh, guess I'm gonna use brown caster sugar then. Hmm. I'm not used to not having sugar. Like regular table sugar. Or wait, maybe it's in here. Uh, no, no. All right. We're gonna use a little twist then. Brown caster sugar. Hoya nusko. I don't know if it's gonna work or is it's gonna be weird. Who knows? We'll see. Might be actually good. After that, I bought the Razer Capture card. You, oh, that's with a USB, all right. For 150 euros and tried OBS, it didn't work. Back to only Xbox and later live streams, and now back to OBS. What you you know why it didn't work? Uh, the Capture card with oh, was it because of the combination with OBS or maybe your PC didn't read it or what? What was the reason? Als goed, Janusko. I'm adding some black pepper to that as well. As you can see, quite a lot. There you go. Mix it up again. Ja, perfect man. Weer lekker lopen klussen vandaag. En nu lekker uh, kookstrikje. Because my laptop was seven year old and everything was like, ah, see, there you go. Always. The hardware. Why is my mic cracking? Give me a sec here, guys. I can hear it in my headset that the mic is cracking. I think I fixed it now. I could hear like. Right, parsley. Let's fine cut that. Laat me hier, je mama. Dan denk ik al. <laughs> nee, jij moet hierheen komen, met mijn rijke ko. Ik ga toch niet uh, naar jou toe komen? Alleen als, als jullie degene zijn die het eten maken. Alright, in goes the parsley. Parsley. 
dacht dat jouw F16 vol was. Nee, ik heb geen kerosine meer daarvoor. Dus op. <laughs> kerosine is op, Ko. <laughs> Give me a sec here. I got flour on my hands. Alright. So. Now I need the lemon. Half of it. The other half goes into the sauce, the garlic sauce. I like these lemons, they don't have seeds in it. Makes it easier to squeeze out the juice without having to worry about the seeds. Yes, they do exist, these types of lemons. Another sip of my coffee. We need to see that Yunusko chicken for a second here. Yunusko! One of my favorite streamers and friends, guys. Yeah, uh, mostly d does Dutch streams, but he's been getting into English a lot. And he gets better with it every day that goes by. And we got Barb. I don't have a chicken for Barb yet. I might have to make that. Shouty to Barb. Very kind, always drops by here at the chicken farm, showing the love. Appreciate that, Barb, you're amazing. What's up, Cop God? There's Cop God's chicken. Don't fear, eating the medic is here. This is a funky... I've never seen the inner uh, side of a cucumber this dark before. How are you doing, Ethan? What kind of cucumber is this then? A chicken for me? I prefer a cock. <laughs> oh, Barb, you crack me up every single time. <laughs> uh. Not feeling too good today. What happened? Are you feeling sick, Cop God? Don't tell me you got the corona. Been sick four times and it's really annoying pain in my hand. Pain in your hand? That's because you spent so much time behind your computer late at night, if you know what I mean, Cop God. <laughs> uh, I don't, I'm sorry guys, it's for me saying such thing. It's just the influence Barb has on me, you know. And stuff like that happens. Like... You guys know that I always upload the cooking shows to YouTube and then you have to put down like settings and information, maybe some copyright stuff. But there's also a section where they ask you, is it made for kids? And I always click, no, <laughs> it's not made for kids. <laughs> there are things being said during the cooking shows and at the chicken farm. <laughs> it's not made for kids at all. <laughs> yeah, it makes it easier for me just to blame it on you, Barb. Ah, Barb is sending some hugs to Cop God. Hope you feel better, Cop God. Feel better soon. All right, kind of a weird cucumber. I never seen this, but. It's all right. Normally they don't, they're not this dark, you know? It's kind of weird. All right, let's mix that. And I've kind of have to push it down. You know what, I'm actually gonna do that by hand. But I got the fancy bent over gloves. Normally I would just do it with my bare hand, but 
as mentioned, I was painting today and I still got some leftovers on there. I don't want to mix up those chemicals with the food. Spend about 10 hours each day. <laughs> 10 hours? Oh, I'm not surprised then, Cop God, that your hand hurts. Like, you want to squeeze that down. Maybe add a little bit more vinegar there. Give me a second. It's not enough. Oh, on Xbox. Well, you can still use Internet, uh, X Internet Explorer on Xbox. You're not fooling me with that one. Cop God. You're gonna spank my butt? Well, I really don't mind that. My butt cheeks could use some attention, Barb. I think maybe the brown sugar is actually gonna be improving this dressing. We'll see. Yeah. Squeezing it down there. All right. So cucumber salad, it's finished. So we can put that aside. Go to the next step, which is gonna be the garlic sauce. This uh, vinegar tastes quite good, I must say. Right, garlic sauce. Grabbing another bowl. So the garlic sauce, that's gonna be to dip our fish in later. We need mayonnaise, good old mayonnaise, Dutch people love mayonnaise, some good amount, let's say uh, four tablespoons, a little bit more, there you go, Barb is after another barn heist, who will join her? But she, so she doesn't really need help though, because she's quite talented with the barn heist. She knows the way to... She always brings bacon with her and then she throws that like over the fence and all the guard dogs will just go to the bacon, you know? That's how she distracts the guard dogs. So she can sneak in and free the chickens. We love mayonnaise, but homemade. Oh yeah, well... I think I um I don't know. For me personally, it's just a pain to make. Not that it's difficult. I don't know. I just don't like doing it. So I just buy the pre-made. But you can get really good ones over here, since it's so popular. You know, it's so popular the mayonnaise in the Netherlands. If you go to the supermarket and you go to the mayonnaise or sauce section, you can choose from so many different ones. Also, I got some sour pickles, pickles over here. No. So, I'll show you guys something. If you're not strong enough, like me, and you're still hitting the bottom of the thing, and it still won't open, just get something like a knife or something, without breaking it. Use like this corner here. So not the blade, but uh, the handle, and just smash a hole in there. So the air will go out, and then, whoop, see? Little life hack, there you go, or a cooking hack. So I'm going to add a little bit of the sour pickle juice to that. All right. I'm gonna, are these, oh, I didn't see that yet. These are slices. Oh. Makes it easy to cut. But I thought they were like whole sour pickles. Guess not. So something like that, rest goes back. 
into the fridge and one in my mouth. Mm. By the way, the Dutch word for pickles or sour pickles is augurk. And me and Infinity, that Irish bloke, we always love to say jerk my augurk. If you smack the rim of the lid a few times around the other edge with the knife, it will open without needing to make a hole. Ah, oh, shit, there you go. Another way of doing it. Of course, tips. You know, only th these hacks you and me are mentioning right now are only like for people that aren't strong, like me. You know, I got the spaghetti arms. And how are you doing, by the way, sir? The handsome Canadian bastard is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. See that handsome chicken? By far the most handsome chicken. There you go. Draag je een jurk, Augurk? Oh, shit. So I'm gonna fine cut these. Into little cubes. That goes into the sauce as well. There you go. Jerk your cucumber. It's not a cucumber. It's a, it's a sour pickle. Oh good, on my end, friendo, gonna make pastrami sandwich while this... Ooh, pastrami? Ooh, it's been a long ass time I since, since I had that. I love that. You're just gonna put pastrami on it or other stuff too? Maybe some cheese or some sauce. Maybe tomato, some lettuce. And I'm happy to hear you're doing good. Pastrami. I haven't eaten that in ages. I used to eat that a lot because at the restaurant I worked, we had uh, like a, a, a starter on the menu with pastrami. And I was always like secretly. So we need to cut off like three or four slices for the dish. And then a fifth slice will go into my mouth secretly. I was eating that shit nonstop. Every time it got ordered, that, that dish, Jamona was eating some pastrami. Hey, Dubbing, what's up? Also gonna add some fine cut onion to that. Gorgeous sauce, and then we need to add two more things, namely the parsley and of course the garlic. Some onions. It's not holding together this one. Annoying. Just a little onion. I, I, I tried to look for the smallest onion possible. All the other ones I had uh, were quite a lot. You lost so many chickens? What happened? Because you were doing all the, the failed barn heist. It's, that's karma for being greedy. Janusko is like, ooh, dubbing is here. Uh, explanation mark, Fox. But he failed. I think the, the, the fox is hiding for so long. When was the last time we had a fox? It's been ages ago. Oh, it's popping off now. Number one and three are in the chat. Dubbing and Barb are popping off now. He's gonna lose all his chicken if he tries again. Why? Because then you are gonna do the fox and probably get it. <laughs> this fucking dogs keep... Didn't you bring your bacon? 
Don't forget to bring your bacon to distract him. Alright, I need the rest of the parsley. Oh, because you're a mod, you're gonna abuse your powers. That's not bueno. I might wanna have to do something with pastrami now. Clips mentioned that shit. Gives me like inspiration and ideas. Also, me just wanting to eat that again. We got a really good butcher over here in Emnes. They probably say sell quality pastrami. Parsley flying everywhere right now. Right, I need a bigger bowl, I think, for this sauce, cause it's kind of, kind of getting full. That bowl. I'm gonna grab a snack. Be right back. All right, Barb. Go do your thing. Grab something to eat. I'm gonna grab a bigger bowl for the garlic sauce, cause it's like almost flooding here. Tummy tickle, oh shit. He got that fast those fast fingers. Better watch out when dubbing unleashes a tummy tickle. Alright, so I need some black pepper again. And also a little bit of salt. And then the only thing we need to add is the garlic. Got it right here. Let's say. Ooh, that's <laughs> as soon as I pull off the lid, this intense smell of garlic <laughs> comes out of it. It's crazy. All right. Um, Yunusko and Dubbing are like really going at it right now with the, with the showdowns. Type 1v1 Yunusko if you want to accept or are you afraid now after that Tommy tickle? I wouldn't blame you. This time your Nusko got it. Let's go. GG's. So now you're drawn again. You're leveled. Oh yeah, Yanusko, by the way, I told uh, Schmil about that one round we played where there were so many goddamn zombies and hellhounds and hives everywhere. Where we just decided, <laughs> let's just extract here instead of looking further looking for the bounty. We were like, damn, we haven't even found the bounty yet on Hunt Shelldown and we already lost all our med packs and all our... <laughs> or our tools or explosives we lost everything and we didn't even find the bounty or other players yet it was crazy we had like the same amount of zombies in that round which you would normally have in five rounds combined and then the next round we played there were hardly any zombies it was weird But I don't want to talk about that last round anymore, Yunusko. That was just like those enemy players were just total dicks. Cox. All 
I'm gonna cut this as fine as possible. Let's catch up with chat real quick. Um, okay, everybody's just doing. Uh, yeah, uh, me and Yanusko, Barb, we play Hunt Showdown. I don't know if you know that game. We're kind of having a love hate relationship with that. It's such a good game. But it's also so difficult and a lot of sweaty players that sometimes really make it frustrating. But especially the difficult, uh, difficulty of the game. It's like a really difficult game. It's really a learning curve really. Basically with everything. Not just how to shoot and handle a weapon. But also how to move around and when, so when to do something. Or sometimes you just... Don't do it because it's better. Uh, but you all, you, ha you really have to learn to play that. Uh, even if you did manage to learn to play it, it's still really difficult. But it sure is a very unique game. Some people might say it's like, oh no, it's it's just like Escape from Tarkov. I play both games and. In all honesty, it's not remotely close like Escape from Tarkov. Like, not at all. The only thing they have in common is that you, in both games, you kind of have to reach the extraction point, and that's all, you know? Apart from that, it's totally different. And I think with Hunt Showdown, you either love it or hate it. Like, if you don't like slow-paced games, then you're not going to enjoy yourself. But if you kind of like the the creepy tactical team play sh shooter slash zombie game, almost like Milsim with permadeath, yeah, then, then you're really going to enjoy yourself. And still then, it might frustrate you from time to time, like it did with me yesterday. But that was more like with the players that killed us rather than stuff that's in the game, you know. <laughs> Look at Yanusko <laughs> and Barb. Uh, Yanusko and Dubby. Like, they're so mad at each other. Ooh, wait, is it completed? Oh shit. Oh no, almost, almost there. Now it's completed. Let's go. All right. I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know if I already set up a price for that. Let's see. Commands. Give me a second here. Oh yeah, I did. All right. So, challenge completed. Let's see the mystery reward. What's it? What is it? What is it? 500 instead of... Hold on, I need to change the amount, the price here. All right. Submit. There you go. So instead of paying 2,500, you only have to pay 500. Oh, I also need to change the, the, the text for that. You did pay only 500 there, but the text said 2,500. Give me a second. Change text, yes, submit, yes. So you paid 500, even though it said 2,500, Barb. And you earned 1599 in return. Let's go. And why doesn't the clone machine work with dubbing? It does work with Yanusko. There you go. Ooh. I guess you guys just found a way to earn easy chickens. So we got the garlic sauce ready as well.
There you go. Let's put that aside. Oh, that tastes amazing. I got the mic crack lacking again. Give me a second. All right. Should be good now. Let me clean my knife. All right. Let's grab that fish here. Grabbing the pollock right now, guys. Bear with me for a second while you guys enjoy my cutting board. Oh, you have such great content, Jimona. Look at that beautiful cutting board. I've never seen such great content before in my life on Twitch. All right. So I had some leftover Pollock, like one of them right here. But I got more. So this is about 400 grams, which is perfectly enough for two people. So you both have 200 grams. So I'm going to cut those up. Oh, into chunks. Like that. No, Yunusko, still not the fox. Ah, oh, poor Yunusko. You're losing a lot of chickens trying to trigger that fox. You might want to just go with the clone machine, which is really cheap to use right now. There is a cooldown, though, I'm dubbing. You gotta be patient. You can't spam that shit, you know? <laughs> dubbing has so many chickens and he's still being greedy. It's like, I want more, I want more, I need more chickens, there's never enough chickens. So I got my batter again here, as you can see. So this is the moment where we're gonna go to the stove. Also, by the way, I forgot to mention, just to keep it warm, like when I fried it, I'm going to put it in the oven just to keep it warm. Because I got a rather small pan to fry in. So I have to do it like little by little and then I'm just going to put them in a bowl like this one and keep them warm in the oven. Battered, battered bollock? Or Pollock. Translation on Google said Pollock. But I keep forgetting you're from the UK and you always do everything different. Wrong side of the road. Different measurements. So it could be that in the UK they say Pollock instead of Pollock. Better? That seems right to me. All right, let's uh, switch the camera here, guys. Give me a second. Look away if you suffer from motion sickness. Here we go. Now I need to check real quick if that's the right angle. Almost. So here's the warm oil over here. And I'm also going to heat up this pan over here, which is going to be for the baby potatoes. Let's heat that pan up. There you go. Switches, switches, switches on top. I told you, Barb, it's not a bad thing to switch things around. Don't always have to be on one side, you know? Up, down, front, back. Whatever you like, Barb. Whatever you like. I know you like it all, Barb. You don't mind how. As long as it's going down. You like me whispering to you in your ear, Barb? <laughs> 
So, better. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to the stir frying pan for the potatoes. Never said it was a bad thing. That's true. I won't deny that. You know I am mostly a top, but I let a couple of people to top me. So it's not... Uh, you got like your preferences, but you're willing to compromise for others. That's really sweet of you, Barb. You're so good. <laughs> Damn, puts 500 in the clone machine. So you almost tripled that. Nice. In goes baby potatoes. Without the skin, these ones. Trying to keep this as cheap as possible. These are like really cheap baby potatoes. But it's all about what you add as a flavor. Right, Yunusko, go do your thing. Yunusko will be right back, guys. Sometimes the chicken gotta lay an egg real quick. We understand. Better get that huge egg out of your system, Yunusko. It's liberating when you go let go control. Man, tell me all about it. I, I keep trying to tell that to my other half, but... Seems to be hard to do so. But it's alright. I'll just tear that shit apart. I don't mind. Dummy thinks you is such a pig, but around here that's a good thing. Yeah, because we're at the farm right now. Happy pigs. It was actually Yunusko who made that comment, dubbing. <laughs> Funny shit. A little bit of pepper in there. Ta -da. Voila. I don't know why I just made that sound. I just felt like it. Now he's slapping Yunusko too. What happened? Poor Yunusko. He doesn't even know you're doing this shit, dubbing. Oh, is now weer die keukenpapier gelaten, hè? I need my kitchen paper, but it's gone. Why do stuff disappear over here? Hello, kitchen paper, where are you? Found it. Right, I need to roll up my sleeve here for a second. And I need a glove because we're going to start frying the fish. Bent over. Put your monash here. Oh, hold on. I need like a little plate. There you go. Make sure it's covered completely in the batter. Julia, rating the chicken farm. What's up, Julia? I appreciate that. How are you? How was your stream? 
Can we get a shouty for Julia? As my hands are quite occupied right now. Julia, how are you? You're good? Nice! Did you play, Julia? Did you play some Siege? <laughs> You're on... <laughs> bring your bring your wife too, Julia. We'll have a sit down together. Borders are open, so... You know, you can just... You can just drop by. I'll send you the address. <laughs> Thank you, Yanusko. Julia, all the way from Sweden, guys. Amazing Rainbow Six Siege player. But she plays other stuff on stream. Will be there in 20. Oh shit, are you gonna grab the, the jet plane? Like your F-16 or something. Let me expand my jet. It's kind of small right now. Do you, do you have like a jet plane going through the sound barrier? <laughs> 20 minutes, that seems... Uh, oh, you got two of them! Damn, fancy! You have fancy pants! Oh, I'll, uh, I'll add two extra plates then to the table, Julia. Bring the missus. So if you go use that jet, who who is uh who's controlling it? Who's like the pilot and who's the co-pilot? Or you both have your own like own jet. Appreciate the lurk, Barb. Wanna play some games? See you later, amazing people. Alright, Barb, enjoy the games. Appreciate you dropping by. Have a good one. Appreciate the lurk. Love your face. Talk to you later. Ooh, I might have put a little bit too much of that in there, or my pen is just too small, either of those two. Yeah, so the next batch I will reduce the amount here. I'm frying them until they're golden brown. Oh, you, of course, you don't fly yourself. Of course. But you're distinguished enough to have your personal pilot. Make it three chairs, I jump in the heli and <laughs> pick up. Ah, oh, shit. I guess I should be adding uh, three, or maybe even more dubbing. You can bring your wife as well, and Skylar too. She probably love fried fish. I mean, you're from the UK, after all. That's kind of your thing. I don't have old newspapers where I serve it in, though. I don't. I don't know if that's a problem, Dubby. It's not like the classical fish and chips over here. Oh, this is gonna be good, guys. Julia will be right back. Sometimes chicken got lay an egg, real quick. All right, Julia. You go squeeze out that big fatty. Let's add some garlic oil to those baby potatoes. There you go. Oh, that's the final bit of garlic oil. Ah. Dark days have arrived over at the chicken farm. We're out of we're out of bloody garlic oil times. Fish in print, good old classic. Yeah, that's like uh that's like you can get that basically everywhere, right? In the UK. That's like really popular. Fish and chips. Oh, the smells here guys. Mmm, love it. I don't actually need that plate anymore. Let's get that out of here. It's served in boxes now? Oh. I'm surprised to hear that, like because it was such a noticeable thing about about the food over there, you know. 
Ooh, look at that. Lovely. Put it in the kitchen paper. Let's drain out that oil. Right. Next part. It's kind of meshy, but well, that's all right. Can't expect to cook dinner and not making a mesh bit. We're not in a lab or something. Where everything has to be sterilized and shit. We're cooking food over here. In boxes. Of course, it's like less trouble, I guess, if you just can eat it out of a box. But like I said, it was such a tradition, you know. You know, another thing I really love eating, even though I never do it anymore, but that's like not being loved by most people is uh, um, white beans and tomato sauce. Love that shit. Like with some toast and some, some grilled sausage. Mm. Use chocolate for the leftover. Oh, I don't have chocolate. Like make like chocolate pancakes. Better choke. No, never tried it. But it sounds lovely. Right. I need to clean my board here because I still need to cut some extra parsley that goes through the. The potatoes there. Give that stuff some color, you know. Battered Mars bars is a favorite over here. So that's kind of like what you mean with, uh, with like using the leftover butter, uh, better chocolate to that. Or is that something else? In the meantime, I'm cutting fine cutting the rest of the parsley real quick off camera so that goes through the to the potatoes nope correct Mars bar oh like the actual I get it now yeah 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 and that I know that shit yes 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 never had that before but I, I do know what you mean now that like I guess you gotta better that really well otherwise all the chocolate and the marsh bar will pour out into your frying pan if you don't don't batter that properly it will just pour out you know Ooh, lovely I like I like, I like. Can't wait.
the oil that had the batter sets off straight away. Okay, so it's doable. Almost there, guys. Almost there. I think outside I hear a jet plane landing. It's probably Julia, Julia making a landing over here. Clear the runway! Why? It's Julia and her F-16. Oh shit. Ooh, it's getting a little bit hot in here. I grabbed the stuff and sent video to make. Yes, please. I mean, I think that would be quite popular uh, if I would do that on stream, right? Like, people see that in the title, and they're like, oh shit, this is good, let's see that. It's a great idea, to say the least. Alright. Last match. Quick easy stream or dessert with ice cream. Hmm. Have that warm fried Mars bar and cold ice cream combination. I just love when you combine really cold food like ice cream with something warm like uh, I don't know apple strudel or warm apple pie with some cold vanilla ice cream or something. I just love that when you combine the warm and cold food together. So in goes the last bit, then we'll season it and put it uh, briefly in the oven to make it extra crispy. That's nothing, that's such a small piece, I'm not going to add that. Welcome back, Cup God. Senor Cup God is back. Back, my dog was trying to eat a, a piece of cardboard from the big band. Yeah, dogs will literally eat anything if they have the chance. <laughs> oh yeah, see? Cup God's nose too. Yeah, we were talking about that. Dubbing is gonna send me like a, a, a how to do video about it. I might might do it on stream if I think it's doable for me. Like we were talking about, like that would be might be popular to watch, you know, something like that. You need to change your... <laughs> uh, I, I, I approve that statement. And I also would like to join on that statement. What's up, John? John Anderson, ladies and gentlemen. Funny guy right there. Cheers, mate. How are you doing, sir? Good afternoon. Wait, over here it's already evening. Look, look at that cheers emote. That's that's John's emote, guys. Shout out to that guy, lovely fella, handsome bastard, Mr. John Anderson in the building. 
tried to swap my user to CopGod17, but some shit had taken the name. Ah, shit. But you can still change it to uh, TTT, uh, TTV CopGod69. Probably. I don't think uh, somebody will have that. We're getting closer to the end, guys. Oh. Uh, I need like a nice bowl to shove my cucumber salad in. I'm just gonna take this one. Now we'll get my leopard and do it. Are you gonna do it right now? Cup cut 69. Let's go. So we're f we're frying the last bit of fish there. It's quite a lot, actually. I made. That's all right. It's delicious, so won't be able to stop eating that. I'm in a pain. I just had three chilies in my food. Think it would be okay. Turns out they were. Oh shit. It was too spicy, John. Oh shit. Where? What kind of meal did you eat then? That, that was so spicy. For me personally, the more spicy, the better. It's gotta hurt, you know? It really gotta hurt for me to be satisfied about the spiciness. Guys, give me one second. I'm gonna open the, the door real quick because uh, it's getting so warm in here. Right, guys, sorry about that. Appreciate the patience. <laughs> let's see, let's see, chat. Chilies are lovely. Yes, I agree. Not like this. My tongue is now obese and fills my mouth. Oh, shit. So you can't talk like this right now, John Ellison. You're like talking like this now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all swollen and shit. <laughs> Damn, Dubbing, you're stacking those chickens now with, with the clone machine. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, alles gaat goed. Almost close to the end, guys. We're frying this last part. I'm gonna switch the camera back, show my face for a second while we stir fry these last pieces of fish. Or not stir fry, deep fry. Stir frying is something else, Jamona. I thought that I had to call the moest gaan bellen. I have to explain to Huntelaar fan for a second where we were talking about in Dutch. Um, hij zat te vertellen over dat hij iets heel pittigs had gegeven en dat zijn tong helemaal opgezwollen was ervan. Dus ik zat zeg maar hem te imiteren hoe hij nu praat. Beetje... <laughs> dus je hoeft geen rood busje te bellen, mijn rijke. <laughs> Got to go for dinner. See you. Alright, Copgod. Appreciate you, sir. Doing your hot thing is up in here. We hope to see that name change soon. If you want tonight, shall we try and get the team in for Firestorm again? Um, depends on your Nusko. What he wants to play. Um, I'll, I'll, I don't know if your is still here. I'll have to ask him. I know his wife is here, Hunter Fen. Maybe he can ask him for me. Um, 
yeah. I'm waiting for your new scope. Otherwise, yes, we can look if we'll make it work. Probably we'll have bigger lobbies since it's night time. And that's usually when people are playing after a day of work or a day of school. So. Oh, what you vanavond wil spelen. Dubbing wil kijken of we weer Firestorm lobbies kunnen vinden. Weet je wel, uh, Battlefield 5, Firestorm. Ik weet niet of je dat leuk lijkt. Alright, dubbing, Januska says yes. So, we need a fourth person then. Who's the fourth? Copcat, are you still here? Oh no, Copcat left for dinner. Maybe Copcat wants to join us. <laughs> yeah, it's a long time ago. It was for us too, yesterday, Januska. And we did find games, like three times in a row. Without it, you really have to wait that long. Hold on, let me check my fish real quick. But all the lobbies were like uh, 10 people, 12 people, 9 people. Um, if we don't have a fort, we'll just go like with either uh, a fort Randy or just the three of us. So since that's a date, I think I will stream that too. And... If we don't find Firestorm lobbies, we can always play regular multiplayer, right? <laughs> Yunuska brings the wine. <laughs> Wait, is it red or white wine? Yunusko. I only drink the red wine. Well, she's funny in general, dubbing. She's, <laughs> she's always so energetic and funny. <laughs> Rosé? You see my face? Hugo. Oh, I know that one. My girlfriend and her best friend drink that sometimes. It's like the big pink bottle. Actually, I think I got it. No, I don't have it. No, they already drink everything. Red, South Africa? I, 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 I will take that one then. <laughs> We're trying to hide in a house and she blows it up, giving away our location. <laughs> well, it was not that all that bad since there was hardly anybody on the map. So I don't think it actually gave our way our position. <laughs> Let me just put it this way. She would have done that if it was a full lobby. Well, maybe she would have, knowing her. Ah. All right. Let me take out the last bit of fish here so we're gonna seasoning that give me a second here guys I'll flip the camera so you guys can see what's going on let's turn off the heat Fox is still hiding? What the hell is up with the fox? Where is the fox at? So, flipping the camera again, guys. As you can see, we got all the stuffies going on. Nice and crispy f fish. All right, don't need that anymore, take that away. So as mentioned, we're gonna season it with the Cajun herbs. That's like a mix. Let me read the ingredients list here. So you guys kind of know what's going on. Ingredients, salt, vegetables like onion and garlic, chili pepper, regular pepper, bell pepper, sugar, Basil, oregano, and thyme. So that's like the mix. So let's season that. Oh la la. All right. So I'm gonna briefly put that in the oven. Uh, it's 
set 280 degrees. Just like get that extra crispiness. The fox has food poisoning. <laughs> uh, I told you about how it works, dubbing. It's like one in a hundred chance, you know? So that's not a lot of chance you get there. And I can tell you right now, let me see real quick. Uh, since last time it was triggered, the command has been run for 39 times. So we're not even halfway. Should have put that in the batter. Ah, uh, you know, because it's so much intense heat uh, dubbing, it might burn the the herbs. You know, might. I didn't want to take the risk. Just like with fries, with French fries or they uh, like chips, depending on where you live and how you call it. They always do the salt afterwards. Not that salt will burn, but it's just better. Ah, better. <laughs> oh shit. That's a dumb joke. Alright. Away goes the oil. It's so disgusting. I didn't know for sure, that's why I didn't uh didn't do it. Also, I was planning on reusing the oil, but so if you do, do all the herbs in there, it'll get too dirty, but now it's still really dirty, so I decided to throw it away anyway. All right, I need a bowl for the potatoes. Let's see, I need something fancy. Do I have something fancy or I'm just gonna do it? Uh, like a regular bowl. Gonna be a regular bowl. Yes, this one. We got something else. No, let's do it in this one. Let's see dubbing. Damn, getting close to 2.5 million now dubbing. Shit, that's a lot. Chicken God, that's your rank <laughs> title. <laughs> Just Chicken God. All right. Flipping the camera again, so we can see all the stuff we made. Cucumber salad, sweet and sour at the same time. Garlic sauce with the sour pickles. And the onion and the parsley and the lemon juice. And I got the baby potatoes with the garlic oil. Oh, there you go, nice and crispy. Let me put some stuff on the table real quick here. Alright, and then as last, I'm gonna take it out right now. Let's see, I'm gonna put that in front or on the back side. Back side. Fishy. Fried fish. Knife and a fork on the table real quick. And then we're gonna say goodbye to y'all.
Let's have a closer look here. So here's the cucumber salad up close with the with the herb vinegar and the brown sugar and the lemon. And we got ourselves a nice garlic sauce to dip our fish in. The baby garlic potatoes, golden brown and crunchy. And of course, the kibbling, fried fish, finger food with the Cajun herbs. Lovely. Such a nice meal. Look at that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Top view hype. Delicious. All right, guys. <coughs> this is going to be a fast out. Because uh, obviously, I don't want to eat that food while it's cold. Let me put the fish on the table. Ooh. <laughs> My girlfriend's like putting on a face like, damn, that's a lot. <laughs> Cucumber salad on the table. Baby potatoes is out. I'm putting it on the table so the missus can like start eating while I say goodbye to you guys. All right, guys, uh, dummy. I'll be there around eight, your time. So that's like nine, my time. Yunusko um, knows this. It's like a standard procedure for me to be there in the evenings. <laughs> hey, stop sna stealing my line. I wasn't there yet. Uh, I'm not gonna rate, cause otherwise, you know, I rate and then later tonight I'll be back. And then it's just like, I, personally, I think it's, like a dick move, you're like, here is a raid, but then sometime later you take away their views again because you're starting your stream again. So no raid. Also, I just want to get on with this quickly and start eating. Um, thanks for hanging out, everybody, for the raids, Julia. Um, I thought she already landed in my backyard with her F-16. I don't see her yet. I'll send her a message like, Weren't you here with your jet, with your private jet? <laughs> uh, oh shit, we, we got a steel jackpot right in the end there. Let's see. 60k goes to Huntelaar. Alright, there you go. You have the 60k. Later Tankbuster, Lady Dubbing, Later Unico, Huntelaar, Barb, Cop God. Julia, John, Anderson, everybody else. Sorry, I, I forgot to mention you. Appreciate everybody. And, you know, you know, Dubbing already said it. He beat me to it. But I'm just going to say it again. Take care. Be safe. And as always, as mentioned by Dubbing, stay chicken, guys. Talk to you guys later. Have a great night. Peace.